Bam! Cheesy. So, hey guys. Um, on a, on another on a different subject. Um, I I moved out of my uh, my my mother's house. Uh, like uh, two years ago, a year and a half ago. Um, it wasn't until then that I realized how much I used to. And it wasn't until I moved out we can realize how much lactose intolerant I am. Like I, I don't, I don't know. <gasps> Careful. Yep. <laughs> Okay, guys, you probably didn't see that, but that was not his fault at all. We had a little, like, power surge thing go on, so he can see what the hell was going on. But yes, how life does not tell us you are. Yes, I love freaking love cereal. Cereal is delicious, especially, like, there's so many brands, too. I have five in the house. What? I have five in the house right now. <laughs> and, uh, and but um, it just hits me like a freaking fan. Like, uh, it hits me. It's really hard to say. That. And then, <laughs> James, stop looking at me like that. No, you deserve that look. <laughs> <laughs> you can still hear me, it doesn't even matter. Boy, it's chairing the mic. Thanks. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Death! <laughs> oh, that was good. James, you gotta be so salty, Steven, man. Are you sea salt or regular salt? Maybe that kosher salt. I'm offended. Oh, so you just started calling me that now, thank you. <laughs> Dang. Dude, they are not letting you get through this stage at all. That time he didn't land on you. I, I did so good the first run. Right? And now you can't do shit. I got plans. <laughs> did you plan for that? To prevent that from happening next time. Oh, okay. Yay, it's my turn! We've been everywhere. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Going back to Solar Man. I'm lying, it feels like it's been so long that I already forgot why I hated this stage. Or did I even hate it? You did. Oh yeah, so red. Fuck. <laughs> I know, but I, st I also hated it for that. At least I can see myself better. <laughs> Like, it's like Proto Man's got some camouflage going on in this stage. I like to be mad too. Like, you right. Yes. Who made up the what? phrase? Who made up the phrase? Silly Billy. Who made up the phrase Silly Goose? What goose was acting iffy one day? Wait, that goose is very silly. You seen that goose? Uh, that goose is a comrade. <laughs> okay. I, I want there to be someone in the world that takes everything. What the? Phoenix and Icky. Yo, yo, James, have you, have you, uh, have you, have you seen, have you seen any of Saint Seiya? So, you know who Phoenix Icky is then, right? Alright, so, 
there, there, there's, there's five guys. Iggy and Seiya and Shun and two other niggas. Uh, <laughs> Forget those two. <laughs> I forgot their names. All right, they're, 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 they're uh, celestial powers are, uh, what is it? Uh, Pegasus, a dragon, a crane, a phoenix, and a nebula. That's he does, so weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird. So, uh, I'm playing the game because I'm never going to sale, and it made me roll. I didn't realize how shonen it is. Your friends almost die just for someone to come up and save them. Then your friends get the power to go somewhere else and then beat some old behinds. Like, you couldn't beat the dude before, which means you think you can handle the last boss. But my powers are more acclimated to the to the new boss. I can do this. No. What the hell happened? Every time Saya and his friends get Maliwa, Mert, Smackledorf, everything under the sun, Brad. And then Phoenix Iki comes up in there hilariously. And it's like, I, I feel another cosmos. And then they're like, who are you? Phoenix Sir Iki. <laughs> and it happens three times in the game. At least the same exact way. He just walks up there. Just, Phoenix said, Icky. And I'm like, this is hilarious and horrible. Phoenix Icky is not my favorite person. He beat the bricks out of somebody when he lost all six of his, five of his senses. Bruh. Apparently there was a sixth sense somewhere. And apparently there's a seventh one. Because they channeled into it and he murked the dude. He was like, I got stronger because you got rid of all my senses. That's what you were doing first. He was like, sense, what does it make? It's hilarious, I gotta show it to you. It made me laugh my happy ass off. You like sweet friends, you ain't coming back. Since you've been gone! Shut up. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, honestly, the sheer stupid Thank stuff that happens in the game makes me want to watch the anime. But I don't know where to start because there's so many different things. And I, I actually I actually tried watching Saint Say and I was like, oh. So what the hell? I, and I wanted to watch the or read the original anime, but I was confused on that too. And it also was like JoJo for me where I can't really watch it or read it and I have to watch it. It's JoJo art style so weird to me that the right color suffered so much for me. But I'm telling you, Phoenix Icky is that dude because he's always dead at the end of his <laughs> He's almost always dead <laughs> after he's done. He helped his friends out. Well, he's almost dead. He's like, go to this. Phoenix, Phoenix Icky out too. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not meant to be this <laughs> I can deflect those usually. What the hell? That was just bad angling. Pretty sure that was all my lives. Oh, no. Yes. Yay! <sighs> One more, guys! You get to watch me fail. One more time! I made fun of my friends. And the kid. How old are Mario and Old. I mean, like in like their world? Yes. I wanna say they're like in their thirties? Something like that? I was watching that the, the Luigi thing, right? Where the Luigi was pretty much was all that stupid stuff. Yeah. And uh Mario's pretty much what they should do. Uh, and they said Luigi was like thirty four. Like, come on, Mike, he's thirty four years old, he's still a kid. And <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah, that's how kids work. <laughs> so I, can, I must be a toddler then, maybe. Yup. I, I guess until you're 10 years old, you're still like a, an infant. I oh, I did that before, too. And when I realized I could do that, I was like, oh, well, shit, I'm going to keep on doing that. Yeah. Phoenix it. <laughs> okay, so I do that. Shoot him again. Do that. Do that. What? That, that. You do that. You do that. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish that any boss had life. Oh, Frank. I know, I really don't know what you do. Mmm. 
of these things got to die. None of them are going to die. Charge up all the way down. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Exactly. That's what you said. <laughs> what? Don't do it. You're going to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn, I thought I could stay between them. No. <laughs> oh, cheated. Nice. How 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 do they got fire on the floor? Yes. Oh no, not at all. I was just trying to save it because I'm pretty sure that this dude's gonna be weak to it. Mm. So I didn't want to use it, but yeah. I'm already down to my last life, so you know. Just trying to get farther so I can get more of the screws. Yeah, what did you say? Baby, baby. Alright, so honestly, I have Excuse no me. idea what things I want to do. Let's continue. But uh, yeah, talking about like Sensei and stuff, like as you know, one of the newer ones I picked up was watching Book in a Hero Academia. Yes. Or My Hero Academia. And my way, it is good. Like I was telling you, it kind of was like a little bit of a slow start for me, but I, by like the end of episode two, I was getting hooked on it. Of course, the game is another game, though, but the anime is oh my god. Yeah, I actually found out that they have a uh, Japanese mobile game for it on the phone, too. I saw that, too. Played it a little bit. I just, yeah, I just, I just wanted to like test it out, see what the gameplay was like. And now that I've played it, I'm kind of like, mm, I want an English version of this. It's pretty good. Yeah, just, like, I don't mainly do that. To get, lose half your health. Lose half? Oh, dude, look at your health. Oh, you got a lot of them chasing after you. In order to go up top. Hmm. I didn't paused. think they get that. I didn't think yeah. they get there that quickly. Yeah, so. you should have just paused in the long run. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, that one's good. And then I also picked up. Uh, I started watching the series Acoustic Records. I forget the full name, but I know it's Acoustic Records. Or also, I think it's Bastard Sensei. Bastard Sensei. Mm -hmm. That's that's the other name of it. Yeah, I think that's, that's like the English like, version. Of it. That, that's not an English version. It's Akashic Records. Akashic Records does not sound no, no, like, like it would be like, Bastard like, Sensei. Like Akashic, it's like Akashic Records is like only two Something words out of like. Sensei. Yeah. So like I just re I just recognize it as that because it like stood out to me. Uh, but that one's actually really good. It's way like it starts off as kind of like a almost Harry Potter-esque story of like, you know, kids going to a school for magic users and stuff. Mm -hmm. But oh, then like, things something get even is, more interesting. Something is in my eye right now, so I can't... That is not good. I can't really see. So, time for that common question of the day, folks. And for today, have you picked up a new anime, TV series, or cartoon, or anything like that? Or, Let us know. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, um, so... I, I watched Ronin Warriors when I was young. Oh yeah, I loved Ronin Warriors when I was young. But I could not remember the name for life for me, so I type in like Japanese anime with like people wearing a suit. Mm -hmm. Saint Seiya. Yeah, Saint Seiya always came up. I'm like, because I grew up with Ronin Warriors, when I first saw Saint Seiya, I was like, this reminds me of Ronin Warriors. Yep. But other than that, ah. Slip right on me. Yeah. Okay, you said other than that? I said that. You were saying something like you were in the middle of sentence. That's oh, okay. Well, since it's the end of the episode, folks, until next time, see ya! Bye. Hit it.